Dragon Ball is possibly the greatest shonen series of all time. From Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, the series is filled with so much simple fun. The characters don't necessarily have any deep meaning or message that a lot of other shonen try to subtly string through their narratives. In Dragon Ball, it was always about the adventure. Goku can go out and find the Dragon Balls, but on the way he'd just so happen to have to stop the Red Ribbon Army or fight some monsters and make new friends along the way. Then when there was an actual threat like King Piccolo, Goku would have to pull out all the stops to beat him and then knowing his son would come after him, eventually he got stronger. Move into Dragon Ball Z and everything changed, but in a way that suited the series. Goku turns out to be an alien from a warrior race that was genetically programmed to want to fight and train and get stronger. The perfect rival for Goku was introduced in Vegeta and the series really took off from there. More alien races were brought in like the Namekians and the Frieza race, but still it fit the vibe of the show cause Dragon Ball was always a little weird so it wasn't a huge stretch. It became about who could get strong enough to unlock the next super badass transformation and there was always a no holds barred epic battle waiting just around the corner. It got more intense but it stayed simple. Then we had GT which tried to go back to the roots of Dragon Ball and made it about the adventure again, except it was bad and dumb. Oh man guys, wouldn't it be like really awesome if Vegeta got taken over by some baby guy? Wow, look at that. That's what I totally wanted to happen. This show rocks. Thumbs up. Oh, look at the big monkey man. Uh, holy shit, that's actually kind of cool. All right, that's badass. It was a really weird point in the franchise, but I think it still kept the series simple. With the most aesthetically interesting transformation and an ending that made 8 year old little me cry his eyes out about, there are redeeming enough qualities about it that it should be able to stand in the overall Dragon Ball ethos. 19 years pass and the newest Dragon Ball series Dragon Ball Super made its way onto our televisions or crunchy rolls, I don't know. But with the series now over, the most glaring problem with it has been made clear. Everything in Super is no longer Dragon Ball, it's just generic shonen. What I mean by this is, Dragon Ball was always about the life of Goku and his journey to get stronger. He trained his absolute hardest to gain a new power and often made huge risks at the cost of being able to fight someone strong. Remember how he gave up a chance to kill Vegeta after their first fight just because he might have been able to fight him again later? Or the time he let Frieza power up to fight him at his full strength? Moments like these really solidify the overall theme of Dragon Ball. I know I keep saying this, but it was simple. Super hasn't necessarily lost its simplicity, it's more like it wants to have its cake and eat it too. This is exemplified with the final battle of the Tournament of Power. Goku vs Jiren. Goku has attained Ultra Instinct, which going back to the theme of training for everything is literally the worst power up Goku could ever get. Ultra Instinct is intrinsically attainable without training or getting stronger. It's just a state of being that heightens your reflexes and strength. It feels cheap and unearned, unlike all of the other powers in Dragon Ball, with the exception of one, but I'll get to that. It's reminiscent to every ass pull power up in say Bleach or Naruto. Super Saiyan is a transformation that was attainable through getting stronger and being able to tap into that strength through your emotions. At least it was until Super changed all that. But my point is that there is no investment into a form like Ultra Instinct. Goku doesn't have to go through years of training his body because, well, it's in the name. It's instinctual. What this power up basically means is Goku is just a naturally gifted fighter and even when he gets stronger his instincts will always be able to beat out his opponents. Why do you think Vegeta is vastly more popular than Goku? It's because even though he's not as strong as Goku he gives 100% every time he trains so he can match Goku on that level. Training and getting stronger is what the series is about. Ultra Instinct just cheapens it. So Goku and Jiren exchange blows and there comes a point where this scene takes place. 
何が信頼だそれを認めたら俺の今までを全て否定することになるそんな力俺は信じないそんなもの簡単に消えたんだおめえ貴様の信じてる力なんぞ簡単に消え去るんだあんな風にな<笑>俺は別に正義のヒーローでも何でもねえけんどな仲間を傷つけるやつは許さねえぞ !OK When has Dragon Ball ever been about the power of friendship? I don't think it's out of Goku's character to care about his friends, but a scene like this reminds me more of fairy tale. Goku is like a fucking 45 year old man. Why is he shouting about friendship? I get the impression that Super is trying to pander to a younger audience through things like this, while ultimately forgetting what made the show great to begin with. What's even worse is that Jiren's ideals almost line up with Goku's. Jiren fights to gain strength. He believes that nothing else besides being the strongest matters. But isn't that kind of what Goku thinks? Now, Goku and Jiren have different motivations and methods of going about gaining new strength, but Goku has always been about getting stronger. Jiren thinks finding power through others is meaningless and hates the fact that Goku trusts his friends that much in such an important situation. But let's jump back to Goku when he first gets Super Saiyan God. When Goku fights Beerus, Beerus questions Goku on why he seems so disappointed with his new form, and it's because he uses his friend's power to get stronger which makes him unsatisfied. Goku feels legitimate regret from not being able to reach the level of God on his own. That is one of the best character moments we've ever gotten from Goku. What he feels when his own power isn't enough and he has to rely on others. So, why is it that by the end of the Tournament of Power, he has a complete 180 on his character? He says, this is our power, and those who hurt my friends, I won't forgive. But it's his fault that they have to fight in a goddamn life or death tournament to begin with. This is what makes Super so bad. It's obviously pandering to a new, younger audience, but with characters and themes that feel out of place with the modern style of anime we see today. Where everything is about believing in your friends and the power you get from them and shit like that. I don't think it's unfair to say that Super has lost sight of what really made Dragon Ball appealing in the first place. It's no longer about the adventure or the constant struggle to get stronger and fight better enemies, even at the cost of something important. It's now about friendship and Ultra Instinct and. whatever the fuck this thing is. I'm not saying I mind those themes and qualities in any other shows, but with Dragon Ball? Let's just make it simple again. If you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification icon to keep up to date with all the new stuff I put out. Like the video and share it around as much as possible. Also, go follow me on Twitter. That's all I got for today, guys. Love and peace, everyone.